Good morning. It's been a while since I've done a morning video. Or one at all. This is not like a normal Faith Files video. This is just a morning video so that we can chat and catch up. <laughs> uh, good morning. It's Monday. Look, I got my drink. And you know what? So, I have... Okay. If you're new here... <laughs> or if you're here at all, my drink. I have two green tea packets. I've upped my honey and lemon cough drops from four to five. Lemon juice, sweet and low, an emergency packet, but you know what I added today to my thing? Was a couple of drops of my um, Young Living Essential Oils, my lemon. So I added a couple of drops on my lemon oil and a couple of drops of my that have this like sleek essential oil like whatever I dropped a couple of those in there there's like a I don't know like seven things in this drink it's just delicious anyway whew, good morning so it's been a little while since we've we've been together mm. man that is good so listen I want to talk about, I just want to have a quick conversation about uh, like mental health, about spiritual health, all right? So the last couple of weeks I have just, I have not been really like on social media doing my videos. I mean, I come on a little and I'll post a memory or something here or there, but I've been, I've been... It's been stressful, <laughs> okay? Uh, if you saw my very last video where I was like freaking out, it's been stressful. And so I had so much happening, you know? Grandma was in the hospital, Josie got spayed and she's a handful. My job was like, whew. I mean, I was crying every day, just stressed out. I was praying like, God, help me. You know, it was, it was bad, 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 right? So I was watching my pastors this morning, as I do. And then I turned them off for a little bit and I was praying. And I had this, I just had this, I don't know if it was like a revelation or if it was just a, I don't know. But I had this, what's the word I want? It's not epiphany, but it was like clarity. I had this clarity where it was like, you know, we're really hard. I'm going to talk about myself. I'm really hard on myself. Really hard on myself. I, I carry a lot of spiritual, emotional, mental weight. I carry a lot of it. And... That's my own doing. I could release it and give it to the Lord like he told me to, but no. And so I carry a lot of that. And I had this revelation that like I pray to the Lord, right? I ask him to help me, to fill me with the Holy Spirit, to give me the power that is mine. You know, I ask him to help me overcome things and whatever, right? I ask him to help me with my bitterness and resentment. Like I do all these, right? I pray. And then I'm like, God, why aren't you acting? Do something. You know, I do all that, right? And I had this epiphany this morning of the responsibilities that are also mine, right? And that I, I really should give myself a little grace, also, instead of being so hard on myself, because there are a lot of things that we ask God for that we aren't actually putting the footwork in for things that are our responsibility. For instance, I don't have a thyroid. I had thyroid cancer, surgery, radiation. It's been a number of years. 
I also don't have ovaries or a uterus. They've gutted me right out. So all the organs that manage my weight, my hormones, my mood, all that, yeah, I don't got any of those. <laughs> but this last week, I was like, you know what? I don't know if my thyroid levels are right. I mean, I go to my regular doctor, but I haven't been to like a specialist in a long time. And I thought I have this weird cough that's just not cold related. It's just sort of been there. I have allergies and my car is covered in yellow. So I kind of have chalked it up to allergies. I'm not really sure. Um, but last week I had like a weird twinge in my throat. <laughs> I don't know. It was hard to explain. I've got a lot of scar tissue. I mean, like you just press right here. It's like scar tissue. So I was like, you know what? Maybe some of my symptom things are also thyroid related. I should make an appointment. So I have an appointment May 2nd. It was in July, but I've called every day and asked if there are cancellations because I'm trying to move it up. So, you know, specialist. Anyway, so that's something that I, I should, I should be doing. Give myself grace. I don't, I'm not, my body isn't chemically balanced like a normal human being <laughs> or like, you know, when I'm perfected and I go to be with the Lord. So I, I have to give myself some grace for that. The other thing I thought was we're asking God for things, but he's like, why don't you just go to bed earlier? You might be less angry and stressed out and, you know, eat, make better choices during the day if you didn't stay up till midnight on your social media. <laughs> right? Maybe you take a melatonin at 8.30 or 9 o'clock and you go to bed earlier, baby. You know, like you're asking God for things and he's like, sweetie, you need to rest. See, you, you don't have to sit on your phone until midnight. Go to bed. Put it down and go to bed. See, that's your responsibility. Maybe you're dehydrated. You're not drinking enough water, so you don't have energy during the day. That's your responsibility. Maybe you're just eating a junk food, just junk food, and you're stressed out. Okay, well, maybe you replace just one meal. Eat all the crap you want, but just replace your breakfast with something better or your dinner with something better. That's your responsibility. See, there are things that we carry and we're stressed and we're anxious and we're all the things, but we're, and we're asking God for miracles and for power of the Holy Spirit. We're asking him for stuff. At the same time, we're not doing any of the things that we need to do because A, Either we're not managing our stress well, or B, you might be like me, where you look at the entirety of the things that you have to do and that are in your world, and you're like, uh, yeah, that's too much, it's too much, it's too much, right? And so you, you know, but here's the thing. You don't have to do all the things. You just have to do the next right thing. Like, for instance, um, I saw this video, I saw this video about, I don't know the name. I'm going to look it up while I talk to you. It's called, next supplement, what is it called? N-acetyl, N-acetyl, here we go, N-acetyl L-cysteine, N-acetyl, N-nac, N-A-C. I watched this whole video on it, right? and quercetin, this other <laughs> supplement. And I was like, I mean, if you read the benefits of NAC, I was like, all of those things are things that are some issues for me. So I was, uh, I went out and I started taking it. I took it yesterday for the first time. And I was like, man, I feel better. You know, like physically, maybe that's helping my immune system. And I do am having allergy issues because I'm breathing better just from yesterday to today taking N acetylcysteine or whatever it is. Uh, and my quercetin. So it's a vitamin. It's something you can do, right? And 
I thought, well, I'm going to start drinking my water and doing better with that because I haven't been for a few weeks. And I'm going to go to bed at a better time. Like those are three small things I could do. Now, I might still eat like crap for dinner and have dessert. But there are three things that I can do. And those are the three things right now. I had to get away from posting on social media for a little while because I had to deal with some mental health things. And I can go see a specialist because I haven't been to my specialist in a long time. Maybe my thyroid is not balanced the way it should be, you know, because I have to take a, a replacement or whatever. And I tell you that because if you're feeling paralyzed, if you're feeling... um. Like you're not, you're not walking in the purposes God has for you. You're not doing the next, you know, if you're feeling like, like you're being buried under the weight, you have to give yourself some, first of all, you have to give yourself some grace. You have to understand that there are things that you can be doing. You're asking God for miracles, but you also have a responsibility to get better sleep to go to bed earlier, to get off social media, to eat better, to take care of your body. There are things that you have to do and you have to give yourself some grace if you're chemically imbalanced like me. <laughs> you don't, you're not going to be perfect. You're not going to live perfect. But you're also not going to allow the enemy to shame you and paralyze you and trap you. Because like I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? The last couple of weeks, I have just been trapped under the weight of like, uh, I don't know, like the foot of the enemy right on my chest. And I realized I have some things that I'm asking God for, but he's also asking me to do some things that are going to help me that I haven't done. So I took a couple of weeks to cry and weep and gnash my teeth to call my specialist, <laughs> to get in with my endocrinologist to make sure my thyroid is okay. I mean, I don't have one, but to make sure that my levels are okay and the symptoms I'm feeling aren't from that. To take some vitamins, to drink my water, to go to bed earlier, to get off social media. Like, there's things that you can do and you don't have to do all of them and you just have to do the next right thing. You know, and the last thing I want to say is... Seriously, I, people are going to go through ups and downs. There's, you're going to go through valleys. You're going to go through grief and pain and all the stuff. And I just, I want, sorry there, Derek's grooming downstairs. <laughs> I want to encourage you that um, you don't have to be ashamed about that. I mean, you don't have to feel shame about it. You don't have to walk in shame about it. You know why? Because your pain and go what you're going through could be the light for somebody else that is drowning. You know, I mean, I'm not someone who's ashamed of how I feel. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not. I've never been embarrassed about how I feel. And I don't care what other people think about how I feel. And you know why? Because I know that there are people that, that hurt, that deal with mental health, that deal with the things that I'm talking about, and they don't feel confident enough to say something, and they feel shamed about it from the enemy, and they feel under the weight, and I just feel like, well, I'm not afraid to talk about it, so maybe my pain can be a light for somebody. Look, you, look, <laughs> I'm going to give you some tips that are going to help you. You need Jesus first. You need Jesus. Do you understand? And if you don't understand, then please hear me. How's it working for you? Like, just try, just try it. Try it. Just ask him. You need Jesus. That's the first thing. The second thing is just do the next right thing. You don't got to do all the things, but there are things that are in your power to make your life better. You have responsibility to backtrack a little bit and care for what those things are, which is the last couple of weeks. Listen, I spent the last few weeks like weeping my way through the day. I am not joking about that. Like, I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> I mean, like bad. And I've got a lot of things coming up. Stress on my plate. You know what the, I did this morning? I literally this morning was like, yeah, I, 
they're going to get worked out or not. They're going to get fixed and handled uh, or not. Um, but I am literally releasing everything. I'm just opening my hands right up. And you know what I am doing? I'm like, okay, that's it. All of that, I, 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 I don't care. It's worked. It's not worked. It's good. It's not good. Like, uh, 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 I don't have the strength. <laughs> I don't got a strength to like try and do God's job, to try and make people who I want them to be like, that's God's job. God's going to do all that. I just got to cling to him and that's it. I'm going to cling to Jesus every day. I'm going to bubble up every day. And then I'm going to do the things that he and I can do because he's my boo. I'm going to get up. I'm going to take, drink my coffee, have my time with him and my fur babies. I'm going to take my vitamins. I'm going to drink my water. I'm going to go to bed earlier. I'm going to do the best I can during the day. And then he's going to have to do everything else. I can't do it. I'm not meant to do it. I'm not meant to carry the weight of it. I'm not meant to spin all the plates. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't built to do it. This body, this mind, this spirit. Yeah, I wasn't meant to do it. So I'm not going to, <laughs> you know, You've got to give yourself some grace. So anyway, I, I'm hoping that I can get in to see the endocrinologist much earlier. It's been 18 years since my cancer. You understand? The likelihood of a cancer reoccurrence after my type of cancer and radiation and stuff is low. But the stress level and emotions and my ongoing cough and those like those twinges I was like it's probably just that my levels aren't right but I haven't seen a specialist in a long time see that's something that is on me I can do that <laughs> you know just one thing at a time and some days it's literally one minute at a time but open your hands come close to me <laughs> come close to me listen Okay, open your hands up. Are they open? Release it. Let it go. Let it go. Drop it. Now cling on to Jesus instead. You just walk with him all day. Stuff comes up, you're like, God, I can't handle that. You do that, let it go. I don't know how that's going to work out. God, you do it. I can't do it. Let it go. Right? If you find yourself tightening up in your chest and holding the things, stop it. Take a deep breath. And in your mind's eye, let it go. And then bubble up. And then do the next right thing. I don't know if anybody else deals with, you know, mental health and stuff, <laughs> but there are days that, you know, taking a shower and washing your hair, which by the way, I've done, <laughs> is going to be good for you. I watched Elise Myers say something and I was like, oh, I've been there where she's like, but somehow between now, I know I'm going to get in the shower. It's going to be amazing and all this stuff, but somehow between here and getting in the shower, it's a personal hell, and I don't know what to do. I don't know why it's a hell, and I don't know why I can't get there. Mental health, right? <clears throat> and that's the idea, that you, you're like, why can't I do the thing? I'm so, what's going on? Okay, stop it. Open your hands. Let it go. Cling to Jesus. Just do the next right thing. Just do the next right thing. <sighs> right? Anyway, whatever. That's what I'm doing is the next right thing. So I love you guys and I pray for you. Please pray for me. I mean, I love you like a crazy person and some days I am a little crazy. <laughs> so you're welcome. Uh, anyways, I gotta go. I hope you guys have a great day. Be good to one another, but like if you're not good to yourself and this might seem selfish, then you have no capacity if you don't care for the temple that god of the holy spirit you don't you don't care for the things that god has given you then you have no capacity you're completely dry to help anybody else so you have to be good to yourself
You have to. You may need to get off social media for a while. You may need to stop comparing your life to other people for a while. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to figure that out so that you can do the next thing. It's just so important. Anyways, I love you. And I mean it, peanut. Kathy, my God, I love you so much. I love you so much. I hope you're doing well. See your little name. I hope you're doing well. Have a good day, guys.